Hi, I'm Dennis Kelly, and this is my draft story. Tannehill throws, there's Dennis Kelly! Touchdown, Titans! The big man! Dennis, thank you for hanging out with us today. Uh, just want to kind of set the scene for us. You're, you're playing offensive line at Purdue, and when was kind of the moment you kind of realized that I can make this NFL thing is a, is a dream uh, that I think I can uh, can achieve? And kind of what was that moment leading up into your senior year? I think it really started when I got the first call from a, a potential agent and talked about how what they saw for me and how they were excited to you know possibly to work with me. Um, and it was one of those things was like, oh, so this is actually something, not just me fabricating it and, you know, making it up and just talking about it. Like there's, there's gotta be some type of interest if someone's coming out of nowhere and calling me about it. So you go into the senior year, you go through <clears throat> the bowl games and all that. And I thought I played pretty well, um, but there was no combine invite. There was no all-star game invites and my agent, actually the, the first agent that called, uh, was able to set something up to get me out to an all-star game out in Arizona called the Casino del Sol Bowl. What do you remember about, uh, I guess, going into your draft weekend or draft night? Uh, you, were, you were a day two, day three pick. Um, but what was that, that whole momentum going into that like? What do you remember? Uh, nervous, excited, uh, kind of transitioned into what was that night like you got the call? So the first night, obviously that was a Thursday, so I went home um, not expecting to get any type of call. Obviously just wanted to kind of watch it and kind of settle in. And, you know, 30 minutes before the draft hits, a team calls me like, we're going to do whatever we can to get you. And it was like, what is whatever we can mean? Like, are you, <laughs> you going to do something that's going to make me one of those guys? Like, why is this guy drafted so high? That third day felt a lot longer than it actually was. Um, and I, I always felt that I was okay. Like just calm watching it, but, uh, I forget exactly who it was. It might've been my sister was talking about how I was just constantly moving my legs and like any type of like vibration, I'd like check my phone. And, and so it was definitely one of those, uh, one of those things where like in hindsight, there probably were the nerves, but yeah, obviously, you know, being able to get that call from Philadelphia was one of those, you see the area code and you're kind of like, okay, this, you, you see the error code, you look up at the screen, you say, like, who's, who could this be? And then, you know, it was Howie Roseman, the GM at the time, and back to being the current GM. Uh, and then it went down the whole head coach, offense coordinator, position coach thing. So, um, it's a point where, so when I answered the phone, everyone, like, held their breath. And so Howie and I are just talking, talking, talking. And he goes, I'm like, is everything all right? Like, are you by yourself? I was like, no, they're just all holding their breath so that, that there's no – there's no, you know, any issues of me hearing anything. So and as soon as I said they're holding their breath, waiting for me to give them a thumbs up, you can tell that they all kind of started cheering. And um, so, yeah, obviously it was, it was a cool moment. It was uh, something I can, like, going through, and I, I can picture where I was sitting. I can picture everything, you know, the way the day was. And, uh, you know, obviously it's something they, you know, get to have forever. So the moment we just kind of relive, what would some advice you have for the uh, 2020 picks uh, upcoming for uh, this week's draft. Obviously, this is going to be a little nerve wracking because you're anxious. Like it's 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 a it's a big moment. You don't know where you're going to live. You don't know who you're going to be playing for. If you're going to be playing, if you're going to be back, like how it all plays out. Um, but I think it's like taking it all in. I think is probably the best way to say it. Just because um, it's definitely a moment that like I can look back at, like I said, and just be able to like that's a really cool moment. And I'll, and I'll be able to have that forever.